for Devero. So the opening grinder um, back and forth, these combos, uh, made this deep, intimate, and trustful connectivity between the two men unexpected for me. I didn't really expect for that to be what I saw when I when he came into the home. I wasn't expecting the emotional vulnerability in their conversations, um, but it's clear that there's something deeper to this relationship. And when boundaries are pushed, there was an accountability. And when tears are dropped, there was comforting. There was a lot of intimate moments in this, but the intimacy went beyond just the sexual acts. A lot of create, creatively shot um, setups. Uh, certain shots come to mind, like him noticing himself in the mirror after pushing him too far. The close-up of the boiling water doing another intimate ta uh, act. Very interesting ways of um, visualizing this. Cordovero 22. Um, I liked the setup to this because it kind of made it seem like it was going to be one way and you walk, you're walking into this scene feeling like it's going to be a certain way and then it kind of, you know, tricks you and um, is different than expected. I think the camera work in this really stood out to me. I thought it was beautiful from beginning to end. Just the different shots of the actors um, following, you know, being in front of the guy, following him as he walks, not following, but preceding him as he walks um, into the situation. And then the two shots of them, you know, sitting, talking, and then also over the bed and really focusing in on the moments. I thought the camera work was just lovely. Um, beautiful cinematography and the acting was really wonderful. Um, the emotional moments were beautiful and all the different details uh, when the door slammed and the letters fell down. Just um, all the elements really added to this and I thought it was a beautiful piece. So great work. Within the short film, we dive into uh, a certain aspect within gay relationships, with is, which is the existence of grinder and this sense of hookup culture where you're having these uh, encounters, uh, these sexual encounters with a large mass of individuals it's very uh, straight to the point of um, essentially getting it on and so when we meet this character he is sort of diving into his pool of fish in the sea almost so his shirt is a really key identifier in really hitting home of what the story is about to fish or not to fish are you uh, having a genuine moment with an individual or are you actually just trying to fill a certain void almost so here we have this situation between these two characters and they get to interact and intertwine and when this character leaves it is sort of more informative of this balance of do we have these relationships and are they meaningless or do we have this chance to like build on top of that you can kind of see as this character walks out of this individual's house and sort of picks back up his phone picking back up the sense of hookup culture he stops his his step near the end of this film and sort of takes a moment to just be present in the crowd with the people and I think that really goes to show that we want more than what is being presented within the hookup culture I thought the short film was a fascinating watch I thought the acting really keeps the viewers hooked from start to finish I enjoyed the themes of relationships and how far they can go and what we can learn from certain situations in our lives much like the protagonist's experience with Grindr um, I thought there was it was a great job in creating this calming yet eerie atmosphere throughout the film as it keeps the viewing experience and the viewers really engaged from the start up until the clip until up until the credits.